Is my money safer with a bigger real estate group? Let's find out. It's like any other industry. You have the big corporations, the big companies versus your mom and pop shops. The bigger companies are going to have better resources and they're probably gonna have better processes to ensure sort of a smooth and seamless transition as much as possible. But you're probably gonna be a number. Think about Walmart. It's nice that they have a Walmart greeter there. It's nice that when you log on to one of your big bank uh, websites that you can chat with a chat bot. But they don't know you. They don't even know your name. Whereas if you go to a smaller company, they will not have the processes in place necessarily and they will probably not have as many resources. But the experience, you'll be made to feel like a human and therefore it's more customizable. So quite frankly, it really comes down to uh, what you want and what works better for you. Whether you want that smooth transition but have to explain your story every single time or whether you want that personalized experience but might have to go through some bumps and bruises. So the answer of whether your money is safer or not with a bigger company or not, it really makes no difference. Unless, I mean, if you happen to be meeting an independent agent that happens to always want to meet in an alley, generally looks disheveled, and is always carrying around a wad of cash, I mean, I'd be worried there a little bit, but then I'd have a whole bunch of other questions for you. Thank you for watching. This has been Haroon's Views. Hi everyone, Haroon here. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you want to leave your name and your number down below in the comments, you may have your identity stolen. Don't say I didn't warn you.